what's going on, bro? What's your name again? Brother Tony. Brother Tony. So, you understand that we the Israelites, right? Okay. So, what we out here to do, we out here to show our people what God said. We not out here to give you what we said. We out here to give you what God said. God said! So, you have... You have people out here doing all types of drugs. Bring it out, huh? A lot of our people are homeless right. and so forth. But you, but then you, but then you, but then again, you got people walking out here giving our people drinks and water, and food and stuff like this. How y'all doing? Y'all doing all right? Can I speak to y'all for a second? Can I speak to y'all for a second? Hey, can I speak to y'all for a second? Five minutes. Five minutes of your time. Y'all believe in y'all believe in Christ, right? Okay, the Bible says, "Don't them." If you believe in Christ, you hear God's words. So we out here giving God's words. Well, if you believe in Christ, you gonna give God the time, right? Now you see, they just keep walking, right? Bring it you want to know why they just kept walking? Because they don't believe in the name of Christ. They don't believe in this fire. Look down. I'm gonna give you. I wanna show you. Give me that, Mister Rock. Uh, Mister Rock, ten. Oh, Mister Rock, eleven. I think Mister Rock, eleven. We're talking about uh, was it eight? Man. Sarah 12. Give me that. Because a lot of a lot of times our people like you have people come out here and give our people food, drink, and water, right? Don't know what type of lifestyle they in. Watch what the Bible say. Read the book of Sarah, chapter 12 and verse 1. Come on, get up. When thou will do good, know to whom thou do it. The Bible says when you do good, know to whom you're doing good too. It's gonna tell you why you want to know who you're doing good to. Read. So shall thou be thanked for thy benefits? Because you'll be thanked for your benefits. Come on. Do good to the godly man. Do good to who? The godly man. The godly man is keeping God's commandments. That's right. If you're not keeping God's commandments, you are not godly. Therefore, you are not supposed to be getting help. Uh, you are not supposed to be things to be given, uh, things to be given to you. Watch this. Read. Do good to the godly man. Come on. And thou shalt find a recompense. And if not from him, yet from the most high. Read. There can no good come from him that is always occupied in evil. Uh -huh. No to him that giveth no oath. Read. Give to the godly man. It says give to the godly man. That's why you don't see us out here with food trucks Freaky and waters and, and sandwiches. Because we know our people are caught up in sin. God says to give to the godly man. And we're going to give you what God says, which is his word. That's all you're going to get. That's all you need. See, you got people shooting us off because they out here hungry and thirsty. But they caught up in their sin. They ain't trying to hear this Bible. But we're going to give you thus said the Lord, whether you hear or for, for, for birth. Come on. And help not a sinner. Do what? Help not a sinner. The Bible says, help not a sinner. Now, we have to identify what sin is. Which one of y'all out here can tell me what sin is? What is sin? You said the curse of God. What is sin according to the Bible? Now, you have people that, that, teach, that, that, that call, them, uh, call themselves Christians. They come out here and feed you sandwiches and give you drinks. And they say they're your God. How many times have they told you what your sin is? Never. Because they hate you. Now, we're going to go into the Bible and show you what sin is according to the Bible. Read. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Read. Whosoever committed sin. The Bible says, whosoever commits sin. Read. Transgression of self the law. Come on. For sin is the transgression of the law. That's the definition of sin. The breaking of God's law. Right. Now we're going to get some of these laws that our people out here breaking. Give me a... Uh, huh? It, just give me a law. Give me a law. Matter of fact, give me Leviticus 21 and 5. Since my man over here in the red shirt is pushing us off. Like he ain't trying to hear this word. Give me Leviticus 21 and verse 5. Come on. The book of Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. Listen up, school. They shall not make boldness upon their head. The Bible says what? They shall not make boldness upon their head. That's the commandment of God. The Israelite man and the, uh, the black Hispanic and Native American man are not supposed to make their heads fall. Like an Egyptian. Bring it if you put a razor to your head, you made your head fall. Therefore, you broke the commandment of God. Therefore, you are in the midst of sin. Therefore, we cannot help you. We ain't gonna come out here and give you no sandwich and a bag of chips. We gonna give you the commandments of God. Why? Because we love you. Right. They shall not make boldness upon their head, neither shall they shake off the corner of their fists. And we ain't 
want to shave off our beard. That's why you see men over here in the purple with beard on their face. There's only two type of people that don't have beards on their face. That's women and children. Women and children are the only people that don't have a beard on their face. So if you're a grown ass man and you don't have a beard on your face because you shaved it off, you saying you a, be you a boy or you a woman. Right. Read. And show thyself a man. This is how you show yourself a man. Keep reading. And to keep the charge of the Lord uh -huh. thy God. Come on. To walk in the way. To keep his statutes and his commandments. That's how you become a man. By keeping God's commandments and his statutes. That's how you become a man. If you ain't keeping the commandments, you are not a man. You just an old ass boy. You just an old ass child. That's what you is. Bring it out. What's, hey, come around here, school. I want, I want to talk to you because you've been over here running. Bring it out. You don't tell me what Hey, come over here. Come over here, bro. Hey, what, what, come over here, man. You, you Give me Proverbs 1 and 5. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5. Because this old school dude, this old school brother up been running his mouth for the past 30 minutes. Ain't no wisdom came out of his mouth at all. I'm going to tell you why ain't no wisdom came out of his mouth. How do you feel about 70, right? you 78 years old. You're 78 years old. Bring it out. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 5. Listen to what the Bible says. Read. A wise man will hear. The Bible says a wise man will hear. What do you hear with? Your ears. You don't hear with your mouth. The Bible says a wise man will hear. What's the opposite of a wise man? Bring it out. A fool. That's the opposite of a wise man. And our communities are full of old fools. Bring it out. Because they don't want to listen to what God said. We didn't write this Bible. We read you what the Bible says. Read. A wise man will hear. And will increase learning. And will increase learning. We have not learned yet that we are the Israelites of the Bible. We are the true Jews of the Bible. We are not black. We are not Haitians. We are not Puerto Ricans. We are the Israelites. And I'm going to show you just what it means to be an Israelite. Give me uh, Revelation 21 and 12. Let me show you what how it's so beautiful to know that you're an Israelite. Because in these Christian churches, they say God so loved the world. Right? But let's see who the kingdom of God is for. Let's see who the... No, it's not. I'm going to show you according to the Bible. Watch this, Mom. Watch this. What's your nationality, by the way? Hispanic. What does Hispanic mean? Hispanic means property of Spain. When you call yourself a Hispanic, you call yourself a slave. Right. Willingly. Right. Just like if we call ourselves African American, we call ourselves a slave willingly. Right. Because Africa, the name Africa comes from Leo Scipio Africanus, right. which is a white man. Right. America comes from America Best Future. Right. Guess who he is? A white man. So when you call yourself African American, uh -huh. you are saying I'm a slave. Right. I come from two white men. That's up. impossible right. for a whole black race. To come from white men. That's a lie that's been told to our people. Listen to what the Bible says. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 12. Read. And a wall, great and high. We're talking about the kingdom. The kingdom, it got a wall, great and high. Watch this. Read. It has 12 gates. How many gates? 12 gates. Now it only got one big pearly gate. 12 gates. It's 12 gates into the kingdom of heaven. Let's see who those 12 gates are for. Read. And at the gates, 12 angels. There's 12 angels at each gate. And guess what they look like? Black. They ain't no white angels. They ain't no baby angels flying around butt naked. These are black men. Read. And at the gates, 12 angels. Uh -huh. And they bring their own. They got names on these gates in the kingdom of heaven. Let's see the names that's on the kingdom of heaven. Read. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel? No, of all nations on the earth. Of the children of Israel. The Africans. Of the children of Israel. The white people. Of the children of Israel. The kingdom of heaven is only for the children of Israel. That's right. The 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That's why it's 12 gates. Guess who the 12 tribes of Israel are today? The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Are the Israelites according to the Bible? And we're gonna prove that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Bring it up. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Read. 
Deuteronomy 1 and 1, then Deuteronomy 28 15. I want to let you know, we're going to give you the whole context of what the Bible says. Of who Moses is speaking to when he came out the wilderness. Uh -huh. Read. Yeah. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 4. Uh -huh. no. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. This Bible says, these are the words that Moses spake unto all Israel. It didn't say the uh, all nations. He said all Israel. Israel is one nation, one of the nations that God created. And he chose this one nation. God created 18 nations in the Bible. Uh -huh. He only chose one. Right. That's you and I. The yeah, earth is right. and the earth. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. We are not these names that our oppressors has gave us in slavery. Right. They enslaved our people, took our language, took our heritage. When our heritage is this Bible. Right. But now we go and celebrate Christmas, Halloween, Easter. We eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. When our heritage, the Bible says we are not supposed to do so. We're supposed to keep the high holy days in the book of Leviticus, the 23rd chapter. Those are our high holy days. But yet we take on our oppressive high holy days. But then we'll march up and down the street talking about black lives matter. Black lives don't matter the black life. Because we don't give a damn who we is. We'll walk around here thinking we black. When black is a coat. You just got me on that tape over there. I can't get my mix. You just got me on that tape. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. I'm taking it off. But it shall come to pass, and thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. What's your name? L.K. She's not white. She, she's an Israelite. That's right. From the tribe of Israel. That's right. That's what you are. You are Israelite from the tribe of Israel. Listen to what the Bible says. We can prove it that we are Israelite. Because it says, bring it from the top again. But it's your turn to pay. It's down. We're not hurting until the voice of the Lord thy God. So the Bible says, uh, Moses was telling the Israelites, if you don't part, part it means to listen. If we don't listen to our God, read. To observe. To do. To what? To do. To what? To do. Do is an action word. Right? But these Christian churches, they ain't got no actions. In the, in the book of Luke 14, 23, it says, go out into the highway and hedges and compel my people to come in. We ain't have you ever seen a preacher come out here and tell you to come in, show you how to come in without looking for, looking for money. They want your money. We don't want your money. We ain't pass a plate around once. Why? Because it was, the, we, uh, it was given to us freely, therefore we're going to give it freely. Right? Hell, we ain't got no money as it is. We in the ghettos too. Where you think Nazareth at? It's in the ghetto. That's where Jesus Christ came from. Jesus, they said, what good could come out of Nazareth? You want to know what good came out of Nazareth? A savior of the twelve tribes of Israel. Great. Do do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses told the Israelites from God, if you, uh, he told the Israelites when we came out of Egypt, because we just left Egypt, we got a slave for 400 years, right? So now we're in the wilderness with Moses. God told Moses to tell the Israelites, if you don't keep the commands, curses is going to come upon you. Right. And no one take it right. until thou be destroyed. Now we're going to read some of these curses. Give me verse 46. Watch this. Read. Verse 46. Uh -huh. And they shall come upon thee for a son. So it says, and they. The they is the curses. It says, and the curses shall be upon the Israelites for a sign. Hmm. Oh. Let's look around for some signs. What, what place is this? Right? What does it say? What does it say? True word place. How do you know that true word place? How do you know it's that? Because of the sign. The signs say true word shelter, right? That's how you know what that is. It's an identity. That sign right there is an identifying mark. Just like you know this is a stop sign. How do you know the stop at this sign? Because it says stop. It's an identifying mark. When you come to this sign, stop. Likewise, these curses. We're going to read these curses. And they are identifying markers of who the Israelites are. Read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. And these are going to be upon our seed forever. What is, what is 
to see. What's going on, bro? What's going on, bro? What's your name? The Bible says we have to keep the commandments. That's right. And I appreciate the words, but what we have to do is we have to keep God's commandments. Right. That's the that's the end game. That's it. That's all we're gonna keep the commandments of. Read on. That's what shall thou say, thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall sin against thee. Who send our enemies against us? The Lord shall sin against thee. The Christian church ain't teaching us that the Lord sent our enemies against us. Right. 1492, Christopher Columbus. God said he sent our enemies against us because we didn't want to keep his commandments. 1619, on the west coast of Africa, the transatlantic slave trade. God says he going to send our enemies against us because we didn't want to keep his commandments and serve him for the abundance of all things. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. 